you're not tuned in, you equals us. No hustle, no fuss, yeah. My name is Sweet, the one they all like to meet. The indigenous nation, yeah, say it loud. We native and we proud. You equals us, you equals us, you equals us. Welcome to You Equals Us. This is the next generation of television made just for you. Each episode goes beyond anything you've seen before on TV, highlighting teens just like you from around the globe doing amazing things with their lives. Some have traveled to the Antarctic on a scientific expedition. Others still fight for Olympic gold. But before all this, we needed to search for two hosts that had the charisma, drive, and heart to anchor such a revolutionary show. This is You Equals Us. We want somebody who's not only enthusiastic and understands the entire, you know, massive concept of the show. That next big star, the next big extroverted person. But also brings forward the concepts, introduces people. Somewhat of an appeal so that when I'm watching, I'm wanting to hear them talk more. But is a star and, a, and, and really pops off the screen. for in the host is really going to be kind of unique and the reason is is that the show is not an ordinary teen show we have this overreported phenomenon in the news where all aboriginal teens are in trouble what we're reporting on is completely different there's a huge group of teenagers aboriginal inuit metis teenagers doing phenomenal things in the world the host has to embody a really unique perspective and the perspective is being able to represent what the show represents which is inspiring earth-changing change agents in our society. Months before casting day, the crew of U Equals Us spread the word to teens and First Nations communities across Canada about a revolutionary new show all about them. They used the internet and social media to say U Equals Us wanted to know why they were the next big star. The interesting thing now is we're taking teens who really have never hosted a show, who have no experience. The competition was open to anybody. I'm Marion Jacobs and I'm 16 years old. About 100 teens applied. 15 were asked to come in for an in-person audition. They came for different reasons. I'm really enthusiastic. I have lots of personality. I'm going to school for acting. I've always kind of had an interest in journalism and kind of media. But what they had in common were being young people going places in their lives. Nice to meet you. If you could just introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Sanakula Weiss. I'm 17 years old and from the Squamish Nation. My name is Bridget Kathleen Acosta Lopez. I like to uh, really um, stay into fitness and um, video games. I'm thinking about a career in law. I love voiceovers. I've got over 20 voices that I do convincingly. Let's hear of some of the voices. Whoa, did you hear that there, Bluto? We've been complimented. <laughs> Can you tell us a joke? <laughs> okay, why don't seagulls fly over bays? Maybe I spend a bit too much time on Facebook than I normally should, but, <laughs> you know, uh, as kids these days. I don't know, what? Because if they did, they'd be bagels. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, as kids these days. Wow! Take a walk down the sidewalk and enjoy it. Chew some bubble gum. I work at the Native Youth Program right now for um, the summer. I want to be a teacher, so I really want to be a positive influence. I have been working my entire life to represent uh, Aboriginal youth. It really makes me want to inspire other people to dream and to achieve their, their dreams. The place that we lived in was kind of crappy, so I didn't really get a really good education. I was in foster care when I was really, really little. but. They found out that I had grade 12 level education. I was kind of proud of that. I got reunited with my twin brother, which was like incredible for me because we were separated. People might think I'm a bit weird, like I might listen to some Justin Bieber, you know, only two songs. Even uh, Neil Young has a couple good songs too. I've always been interested in First Nations. I got the First Nations from my father and he was never really in my life. It was probably one of the toughest moments because he's like sort of my lifeline. 
I think that I can still learn a lot more about First Nations without him. I've carved my own paddle. I've gone to um, Potlack before. Let's do a little read through. Good morning. You're watching You Equals Us. We are fortunate enough to meet young teens who are aspiring to become bigger than they are. Next, we go down under to meet an Aboriginal supermodel who has graced the cover of Vogue magazine. She's redefining beauty. Today we joined Takaya Blainley, an environmentalist. She was taking oil companies trying to expand into untouched natural habitat. And she's only 12 years old. Her message, watch out Enbridge, I have something to say about what you're doing. And you too can be the change in our world. Tell us a little bit about what it would mean to you if you got the part. It would mean a great amount to me. I think that this is what U Equals Us is about. I love entirely. Probably the strongest show I've ever read about. Ah, uh, it's a dream come true. Out of the auditions, the crew chose six for callbacks. U Equals Us is an exciting new teen show. Dedicated to the best of the best and attracting authentic stories. Then it was time for some tough decisions. Yeah, yeah. There were so many good talents and so many different things I liked about people. There was at least a dozen kids that I would have easily figured that they could have walked right into that position. But even now I'm still struggling. But they got it done. <laughs> amazing news for you guys. Um, you guys were selected out of everybody. To really? Be oh my God. Uh, <laughs> oh, congratulations. Honey. Congratulations. You equals us. You equals us. You equals us. You equals us. Wow. Hi everybody. I'm Robert Burns. I, I think we're forgetting somebody. I'm Zoe Craig. <laughs> I think she's feeling a little distracted. Is it, is it the glam, the lights, the, the camera? Maybe a little no, bit of the attention? No, no, Robert. I'm so used to that. I think it's because it's our first episode. <laughs> we are the host for You Equals Us, a show about teens inspiring teens. Wow. It feels like just yesterday that we were auditioning, and here we are. Yep. And though we're so happy to be here, it doesn't compare to how excited we are for this very first episode. Out of a field of teens from all across Canada, we went through some grueling auditions and came out on top. Yep, and we had to prove that we were the total package, on and off the air. Let's have a look at how we got our big breaks. I'm Zoe Craig. Hi, my name is Robert Burns. Thank, Thank you, you for watching U Equals Us. As they progressed, I got nervous. I was just really excited. I thought, hey, I might have a shot. I was still just freaking out. Wow, I, this, this, she was amazing. He was on the ball. He nailed all his lines down. He was good at improvising. I cannot believe we found them. I believe that nothing is by chance. <laughs> Can I get it, please? I definitely didn't think I'd get this far, and I'm just enjoying it so much. If brightening your day were a profession, Zoe Craig and Robert Burns would be overqualified. They're your host for You Equals Us, and they have big talent, big personalities. <laughs> Our mics are on, and she's listening to everything we're saying. She is, she totally is. <laughs> Look at him, you know. And even bigger hearts. He's worked really hard um, in everything that he does. She's always driven um, herself. He's a leader in so many ways. Her caringness. Um, uh, the way she cares for other people. Both hosts that were picked, I think, are ideal. So actually, in the opening, this would make I threw star, right? Yeah. The biggest thing for me has always been my culture. Well, I can't wait to watch this next clip. I struggled with the decision. We just saw incredible teens, incredible. The challenge is we only have one female and one male. I had to really think about it over these past couple days because I was stuck. A few people really stood out. One lead female who really wowed me. She was just stunning, you know, she just captivated me. And then another one came along and wowed me in another sense. 
and totally changed my decision. I was like, okay, well, let's see her performance because she has a really tough job ahead of her. She really has her work cut out for her, and she nailed it. With the males, it was quite easier. He just had it going on, as, you know, for lack of a better word. He could be a little bit more out there and playful, whereas she brought him in. I think he had everything more than we could ask for, really, for the show. I can guarantee one thing. The people we picked, they have bright futures. I can already see it right now. Anthropology. Not only like were your hosts picked for what they offer in front of the camera, they were looker. I bet you the girls would go nuts seeing you on TV. <laughs> but also for what they've already given in their young lives to the world they live in and the people they live with. Robert will tell you his life can be boiled down to two words, soccer and family. But what's impressive is how he's tied the two, one bringing the other together. Robert is uh, my oldest. Right from when he was 12 years old has um, been uh, striving to get better at soccer. There's a lot of commitment. It's uh, a lot of time with practices, uh, games, travel. I grew up with five sisters and a single mother family. Really worked hard to uh, support his sisters. Lots of responsibility. To be there for them when um, I always couldn't. He's always been like my idol. He's always been like the one guy that I've been like, you're the best. Basically, we've always seen him as the man of our house. I think that um, they're all close because of that. But we can all go and spend a whole Sunday just walking around town or being home without any TV, without any internet or nothing. We can just talk all day. When he played in the North American Indigenous Games in 2010, he also um, was assistant coach for his younger sister's team. They ended up with silver. I remember I always wanted to be like, I always thought I was going to be like him. That's just how our family is. and. I think that's the most I enjoy about my family, is that we can just go back and forth at it all day, and that's what makes it worth it. Zoe was always an outstanding child. She's always driven herself to, to achieve. Come here, where's your ball? You can just look in the eyes of Paul West and Laura Sparrow and know that the pride of their home on the Musqueam Reservation is playing together right in front of them. Oh. They're a tight family, and Zoe plays her role as oldest well. She's very family-oriented and cares so much about her younger siblings. I don't think that Zoe fully understands the qualities that she possesses. She touches people in a special way, and what she brings to her siblings' world is uh, quite amazing. <laughs> But beyond her family, it's her attention to the big picture that's turning a lot of heads. She had to go and volunteer at an organization. Everything I do now, I'm always thinking about my impact on the world. After the um, project ended, she became their Canadian representative. It was pretty clear immediately to me that Zoe stood out as somebody who was going to make change in the world. I'm an intern at the David Suzuki Foundation on Justice for Girls. A brilliant sense of, you know, right, what is right. Recently, I've been focusing on environmental issues and my rights as a child. Of all the people who should have a say. We did a submission to the UN for their review of Canada on the rights of the child. They are the ones who are going to bear the biggest brunt. She has this passion about her that uh, is very contagious. And I don't have the solution, but um, listening to the youth and to the elders and to the First Nations, because not one person has the solution if everybody can work together and if they're open to different ideas and open to change, that's really what I think Canada can do. She's done some pretty amazing things. As the season progresses, your host will introduce you to other young people doing big things. They'll also take part in fun activities that you can do too. But above all, they'll do their best in realizing this opportunity of a lifetime. It's such an honor that I got to have a part in showing the world how great Aboriginal teams are. This is definitely a very real opportunity. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with Samantha Harris, first Aboriginal supermodel in the entire world.
you equals us, you equals us, you equals us. Nice to see you again. We went down under and caught up with Samantha Harris. She's the first indigenous supermodel and she's been on the cover of Vogue. <laughs> Check this out. To me, my whole career has been one big achievement. There's nothing holding her back now. I want to be Australia's first indigenous supermodel. Past few days, I've been quite busy doing David Jones Spring Summer Launch. David Jones is Australia's leading fashion department store. Hair and makeup at 5.30, about three or four rehearsals a day. The models work extremely hard. They make it look so easy. You're in there from morning till night so you don't see the sunlight at all. For these girls of the catwalk, it's everything you would expect right before one of Australia's biggest fashion shows. Oh my God, yeah. Primpy, preening, makeup, and model Samantha Harris handles it like a pro. When I started modeling at the age of 13, I was still going to school, so I would fly down from the Gold Coast where I'm from. When she first started, she was um, a little shy and less confident about her abilities. When I was 13, I entered the girlfriend competition, which is like a teen magazine. It was my mum's idea to go up there. She thought it would be fun, and she, I think she was hoping that something good was gonna come out of it. I was lucky enough to be one of the finalists. So we've really seen her grow from a model on the verge to now a model who's really hitting her stride and at the peak of her abilities. If I thought back to when I was younger, I would have never thought that I'd be doing what I do now. At 19, Samantha has taken the fashion scene by storm. Her beauty has graced the covers of magazines. She's a spokesperson for a major department store. But what's maybe most impressive is the mold she's breaking in the sometimes cookie-cutter world of model. I was on the cover of Vogue. I think that's quite a big achievement. It hasn't been at all about her being an Indigenous model. It's about her being a great model and a great ambassador for our brand. If you put in the hard yards and do the hard work, you can be anything that you want to be. She seemed a natural choice for us. It's really important to give back to you know the indigenous people of Australia because they're very stereotyped that would be the best word to use they stereotype them as you know not being well educated um, you know not being the nicest of all people and not doing too much I still think in some areas of Australia not all that Aboriginal people aren't treated as well as they could be My um, mother's tribe is from Kempsey, which is in New South Wales. My mum had a really tough time growing up. She was taken away from her mum, um, her and her two sisters. She travelled around with her auntie, living off the land, and they were basically going where the work was going. I hate to think what she had to go through and how she grew up, but it makes me feel lucky. My heroes would have to be my mum. Like most 19-year-old high fashion models, a cell phone is Samantha's pre-show companion of choice. And the only payment she'll need at this salon... Oh, really? Yeah. ...is some good gossip to get through makeup. Well, that's got to get sorted. I know. <laughs> but it's the Samantha off the runway, her clients say, is what makes her the superstar she is. We're looking for more than just a model. She's very warm and engaging. She's very genuine. What you see is what you get. I feel really proud that I'm on the runway and that, you know, everybody is looking at me and the garment that I'm wearing. She's a role model for our younger customers. She's Samantha Harris supermodel, but to us she's Sammy J. Just be yourself, be true to yourself and, you know, you'll go a long way. Dreams 
can be made and broken. Two minutes. The competition always more fierce. But if you work hard enough with the talent you got, enjoy it. Thank you. Dreams can happen no matter where you come from. Be a good role model for the rest of the country, you know, the rest of the Indigenous community. Just ask Samantha Harris. I would love for other people and other Indigenous girls to be inspired by Sam and realise it's all there, you know, your, your difference is what's going to make you great. If they're really passionate and really want to pursue modelling, go for it. It's such an amazing career and it can take you to many different places. is truly beautiful, inside and out. Next time on U Equals Us, an Aboriginal child born into poverty goes to the Olympics. This is Zoe Craig. And he's Robert Burns. Thank you for joining us. And remember, you too can be the change. Hi, we're from Bella Bella. We make a difference. My generation has something to say. Are you ready?